No, I'm not ready. <coughs> Welcome. Welcome back. Welcome back. It's uh, been a uh, 15 minutes of doing God on God knows what. If only you knew what we were doing in between episodes. Are you gonna move? Hello. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna stay like this because this this has no purpose, but I'm gonna do it. All right. I'm actually stretching out the head of my shirt. <laughs> uh, now the whole back's all messed up. <laughs> Hello, everybody. So, on the topic of what we were talking about last episode, you prefer silent protagonists or actual games with odd lyrics? I actually do prefer. Fuck it is. I actually do prefer silent <laughs> protagonist. Oh shit! Um, fuck. Okay, hold on a minute. My, I thought I got grabbed. Yeah. Oh, just, did you, okay, you're dead. <clears throat> um, yeah. Sometimes, though, a story does need some... something. Right? <clears throat> yeah, but it's also sometimes, like... I don't know. Sometimes it's not needed. Sometimes it gives it a little bit more of a spook. Right? No. It, it, it lets you mold your story. I mean, you saw it with the Wait, spear. I fucking, oh, I need to go to the middle. Fuck me. This one stays. The other one does not. It lets you mold your own story. It's not even that. It's just like you have your like main character just randomly talking throughout the experience. Yeah, but then it, some people some people think that it I'm not dead. It um takes away from it because they some people like it because they can feel like they're in their shoes and. Sometimes when they hear them speaking, it disassociates with them thinking, oh, it's not me, it's somebody in the game. But they can feel like it's them when there's not somebody else speaking. You can feel like you're the person. <coughs> yeah. It was a drawn-out explanation, but I'm, I think that's what I'm trying to get at. Yeah, yeah, I, I completely agree with you. Isaac, you did it. The tram is blocking the whole system. So that's why a lot of people, and then a lot of people are just like, I just want to play the game, stop talking, I'm just going to go for it. Right. Get him on. Get out of here. That's, that's, what, that's what some people think. They, they just... Don't! <laughs> Don't! They wanted to st tell more of a story since they were doing sequels, so they were just like, we need actual talking. Oh, that's right. Since we're on hard, not every enemy is gonna drop money for me or uh, um, ammo. Time there you are. I hate you guys the most. You are fucking stupid. I hate you. I hate all of you. But uh, what uh, what else was I saying? There was something else. Yeah. Oh yeah, like no cutscenes as well. This game with no cutscenes. The cutscenes are the interactions with your video thing on you, that you pull out. I know Dead Space 2 actually had cutscenes. You know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, in some times, the game has more impact when you're not <laughs> pulled away from the situation. Yeah. Into a cutscene. Or like there's a cutscene and you're still getting fucked up. So it, it disassociates yourself. It's like, oh, there's a, there's a break to the to the madness, you know. Alright, all right, I know there's a cutscene coming up, so I'm like, take a break. Yeah. There, I'm always in game during this. I'm not ever pulled out of it. Yeah. I can be like attacked right now while they're talking to me. Or I'm looking at them in the video feed. Yeah. But what's also cool is some. I I will admit it's also cool sometimes when a game has cutscenes, but it's lot it's not pre-rendered. You are actually like still using the game. Yeah, yeah, that's what Mario. A lot, a lot of Nintendo games do it because they they don't use. So it's never pre-rendered. I was playing. You got. I was playing Metal Gear Solid Five: The Phantom Pain again the last couple of days, and I kind of felt like they're not pre-rendered. They're not. Because it's like it's still game, and then it pulls, and then the transition of it pulls you back into the game, like yes. turns around from your perspective, and you're 
No, it, you were right. It, it, it is it is a hundred percent scripted. And you can also tell because that also pulls me out of it too. When you're into some cutscenes, right? And it's, oh, it's pre-rendered, and the graphical quality is cinematic. Yeah. And then you go back into the game you're playing. And it's like this, look, this looks shit. Uh, it looks shit now. I believe Monster Hunter is going to be uh, cinematic, though. Yeah. But it, it's really, it's really well done. God. Yeah. But that's like a different can probably do it and be alright. Well, there's no loading screens. <clears throat> Everything. Damn! It's all transitional. Yeah, it's all transitional. <clears throat> Some games try to get rid of, like, try to get away with that, like, no cut scenes, boys. But, you know, the funny thing is, there's still cut scenes. There is, like, no, I mean, like, I mean, no, like, loading transitions. Yeah. The funny thing is, uh, no, yeah. The no. games try to get away with it, but there are subtle ways that they're they, they sneak loading into trend into other places into the game. Yeah. You get whoops. Oh shit. Hey, hold up. Three hits on the legs. I need to power this thing up. Uh Dead Space is supposed to be like no cutscenes. They're both alive. But when you're when you step into like an elevator or walk through a door, it's technically loading. It's just yeah. it's making you seem like there is not a load screen. Yeah, but they are. I have 14 shots left. It, it gives you the illusion that is a whole game through and through. Those audio cues though. The fact that you also know something's coming. Yeah, you Spooks me. Off. It's behind me, isn't it? I always feel like there's something behind me. Shooting there something is. and then it's there. Behind you right now, dude. I already took care of him, boy. Behind you, dude. Boy, don't worry about it. I'm gonna go off of the way and see. Because I forget this game a little bit. But I played it a lot, so. But it, all, it still spooks you. Because sometimes you forget some of the uh, jump scares that they give you. Right. And like you said before, there are some games that are fun to watch, fun to play. Like. Blah, 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 blah. I, for me, like, this game is a better watch than a, than a play. Just running through, doing your shit. Yeah. I think Dead Space 2, though, is really fun to play, though. Dead Space 3 was. I will admit that. Well, well I mean, it was also because you played it the cooperative it was fun i also okay so <clears throat> a lot of like horror quote quote horror based games that have cooperative when they split you up do you prefer that or do you prefer they don't do that well in the sense that <laughs> it, it depends on what how hard it is <laughs> resident evil 6 did that a lot right yeah. And we were playing it on the hardest mode. Hey! And you kept dying. Yes, that's that's not a lie. You also, toes, fuck. You also fell asleep. Damn, it's a lot of hits. This is taking a lot of my ammo. Ah, uh, yes, that happens sometimes. Were you falling asleep? Yeah. Some sometimes. Hold on, I'm gonna use that. Three hits on the leg, boy. He's probably not dead. Now he's dead. He's dead now. He dropped the money. He dropped the money. There's the maintenance bay key. Do we really want to read text logs? I never really was interested in it. Wow, we. I don't care. Wow, look at all this. Look at all that. You guys want to pause it and read it? Yeah, if you want to read that, there you go. Yeah, ooh, look at all that. Wow, we. Everybody knows the story of this already. Um. It gives you more of a sense of unprotection when you have to rely on yourself again and you can't have any help. It gives it a different perspective on a game. The only thing I see, I, I like, I like it. But the only downside is it forces you to replay because you're not going to be able to experience what the other person's playing. Like, like, all right, let's play again, but this time let me be player two. But it's like, right? Yeah, it forces someone to be player two. But also, it's like. 
I don't like that. I don't like that character. I want. I want to stay playing this person. I don't want to use the shovel. That's a good reference. That's a reference. Hey, comment if you know that reference. He's dead. You die. No, you're not. You guys have so much health. You're eating away at my ammo, boy. You don't have any more. I still have a little bit. I'm still doing all right. I need to go. It's that word. That was the word I was looking for. Yeah. Okay. I need to go. You need to go through the locked door. The locked door. Locked Use the door. key to the locked door. Got a power node, guys. You know what that means. I don't. I'm gonna. I have to make this gun stronger. Good job. Upgrade your weapon. A data book. That's what I needed. I shouldn't have grabbed that. Shouldn't have grabbed it. I'm afraid now. There's blood in this room. Alright. I uh, Hopefully I'm alright. Now guys. Don't worry about how many nodes I actually have. It's fine. We need a little grinding up. <laughs> um. What do you think? I don't really need this. And plus, since there are doors that you have to open with power nodes, they're like they're like caches. We, I, we always have to keep at least one on hand, right? So, I think mm, damage is something we need. Yeah. And we probably should upgrade our HP. Yeah. Right now, straight away, and then maybe give ourselves what speed? Oh, how fast I can shoot. Give us a reload, give us a capacity, and then shoot it off with the speed. And then we have one left. Yeah, don't say it. Yeah. Got it. We're good. That was a good spend. Fuck you doing? <laughs> How many does it take now? Still three? Oh, did he die on the first hit? I think he did. Still wasting my ammo, bitches. <laughs> Got six back though. Sometimes I'm killing these enemies and I'm getting back the amount that I used to kill them. Aye! I thought you were there already. That was one. <laughs> Stop flailing. Hold on. Wish I had like penetration or something. Damn. Give me my ammo back. You guys are dropping what I'm using to shoot. So I'm having a bit of a problem. Yeah. Whew! Alright. I don't trust anything. They do these tricks where sometimes they'll have enemies hide in elevators or drop in with you on elevator, dude. Yeah. Like this one. Well, I also find it good how in this game you don't actually have any guns. These are all like engineering tools. Like, this is not a guy! Hey! It's a cutter. Not doesn't use bullets, right? You get what I mean? There is one bullet gun in here, but it, it's no good. Might as well just use things that cut limbs and not shoot guns, right? Yeah. It's worthless. There's no need for it. Cutting off limbs is the way to go. You're good. You're good, my friend. You're dead. Where are we going? Oh, yeah, we gotta go to the tram. We got the tram. We got the tram. We're... Uh, did I go the wrong way? Yeah, you went the wrong way. Which way did I supposed to go? Yeah. I'm hearing a lot of noises out there, too. Good thing you had this. You know, you know what I also like about this, about the Dead Space series? Yeah. There's, like, no HUD. So not there's not shit all around my screen. My HUD is all on me. Yeah. So, do you prefer games that tell you where to go? Like that? What's cool is I don't technically have a navigation. Yeah, but do you prefer that? Well, when I'm sitting here just talking and talking away on a let's play, and I'm just like, I'm just like having it I don't like mean go for let's play. I mean for like what you're doing now, like just if you were playing it. It depends. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. In a linear game. Sure, it's it's okay. When you when when there's a game that you just want to explore and that's what the game is made for, explore. Strange. 
<laughs> but, for, but, you know, some people are dumb <laughs> and get lost and they need to hold their hand. Here's here's a big one. Uh, fast travel in open world games. Good or bad? How big is the fucking game? Doesn't matter. Because a lot of, it, 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 it varies for game. Well, I'm talking about in general. Here's the thing. I'm gonna say it's a game, and I do not like running through the same area countless times to get to my next area. You know what I mean? Run my ass off across vast plains to get to my next area when I can just skip what I've already went through and travel the same thing back and forth. It's like that's like almost saying back travel. It's almost like saying you're yeah. good with back travel. To be honest. I actually don't like it. And there are some games <clears throat> that force you a lot without fast travel to go through the same shit over and over and over and over. You know, I mean, it's just... It's not needed. L let me just go through the game as is, right? Well, I mean, not as is, but... When you want to play new shit, why go through shit yeah. to the new shit? Yeah. There are but there are there are some games that use fast travel and it's and they use it right. And there's some games that just it's like why they ain't doing it right. Yeah. There, there's some games that do it correctly. Borderlands two, Borderlands one. Borderlands two is different. It, it's it's fast travel isn't really fast travel. It's just you're going to the, another area. But a game like where. It, the whole point is being open world. Kind of pisses me off. Fuck. Fuck. Okay. He didn't give me any ammo. I'm out of stasis. Hey. Awesome. Cool. We did good. Yeah. But well, we'll con I'll continue. We'll continue more of that because I've got other things to talk about. While I'm just, <coughs> you know, speed running the game. Uh, Open up, damn it! If you guys do it, hit the like button. <sighs> subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe, let boy. We're know. getting out of here, boys. Let us know if you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. 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 <laughs> Don't sing that. Shut up. Ba da da ba ba da ba da